So I picked this demo bike up from Giant in the city. Uh, it's a Trance Advanced 1. Uh, 140mm front and back. It's got the 120, 140 dual position at the front. Um, about to take it for a spin up the hills. Bottom of the hill now. Um, done a few good runs on it. It's took me a while to get the suspension feeling good. Uh, same as the uh, range and this one I guess it's just the new suspension designs. You really got to run them soft or deeper in their in their sag to get uh, to get that plushness out of them otherwise it's just uh, yeah just thump 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 the whole way down but once I found it man it's fast. This thing is so capable. Uh, I basically set up at the fastest, roughest part of this track um, and just did heaps of runs down that, you know, it's probably 20 seconds worth of track, something like that, uh, just sprint in and let the bike do its job and um, as I softened it up it became more and more playful which is kind of the opposite of my bike setup which is a 2013 Rain um, and yeah I've settled on about 105 psi for the forks which is uh, 140mm dual air uh, dual yeah dual position sorry um, revelation uh, so 105 uh, recommended is 125 for my weight so uh, a little bit under that uh, the back end I've set it at uh, I think that's sitting at about 105 as well One, 105 to 110 uh, the back is at um, and that's probably 40 mil. Ah, uh, sorry, 40% sag. Uh, sounds like a lot, but once you get this thing going, um, it def definitely doesn't wallow. Uh, like a, you know, if I ran mine at 40 mil, uh, sorry, 40% sag, it would, it'd be real soft and sluggish, and um, just not the case with this one. It's very, very stiff. You feel everything. Uh, being a carbon frame, it's very whippy. Um, yeah, playful as hell. Uh, didn't struggle too much with the longer stem. Uh, was, yeah, didn't didn't bother me once I pointed it down the hill. So got used to that pretty quickly. Uh, the X01 11 speed setup on this side here. Um, as long as you got it set up right, they're they're pretty much flawless. You just got to make sure you keep them keep them bang on because there's not a lot of room between the between the gears on the cassette uh, brakes. They are. Elixir 9 trails, um, yeah, flawless as always. Uh, wheels, no worries, tyres. So I've got uh, Nobby Nicks front and back, got the Pace Star on the back, which is uh, faster rolling, harder compound, and Trail Star at the front. Uh, back tyres a little bit sketchy, to be honest. Uh, not, yeah, not a big fan of that. Uh, rolls well, rolls fast, but not a fan of. The lack of grip, and uh, it's just a bit unpredictable, I think. And the front tyre, yeah, just no worries, plenty of grip. I think just the Trail Star compound, a bit softer compound, and a bit more predictable. Uh, yeah, not not what I'd run, but they're not too bad anyway. The, I've, I used to run Nobby Nicks on my old Triumphs, and no absolute rat shit. But these are definitely a lot better than the old ones, so uh, pretty happy with them. Running about 28 psi front and back. Um, overall, yeah, once you get this thing pointed in the right direction, Jesus Christ, they just, they just haul. I mean, the 27 inch wheels, like I said before, a little bit harder to climb up the hills on. Um, once you, once you get used to it, I suppose it's same, same, but, uh, pointing them down the hill, they're definitely, definitely doing something right. Um, as soon as you get off the brakes in the rough stuff, it's just like you got to throttle. They just go. And you got to be, you can get yourself into trouble real quick. You got to be, uh, yeah, you got to be checking yourself the whole way down. If you're on a fast track that that flows well and um, it's a little bit rough, you, yeah, you'll have some fun. Just, yeah, I like it. Definitely uh, starting to like the bigger wheels. Only thing I'd change is probably uh, go a shorter crank. These are 175 cranks and. Um, it just seems like it's a really low bottom bracket 
Um, I don't know what the what the dimensions are or whatnot, but when you got it sitting that deep in your sag, um, yeah, very easy to clip pedals. I was clipping pedals uh, here and there, and um, nothing major, but it, it may be an annoyance. And I've got short legs anyway, so the 170s suit me better. I had the same problem on the on the Norco range and also the the Giant Rain 2015. Um, just cranks are a bit long for me, but I guess it's a personal preference and how you set the bike up around it as well. Uh, overall, um, very impressed with this. I think the alloy frame, uh, you know, might be half a kilo heavier or something, but yeah, that thing will fly as well. It's just and probably a little bit more give in the alloy frame. Um, if you want a carbon carbon bike, get this. It's it's so good. Uh, Cam can vouch for how fast the thing goes and um, I think if you were to set it up with maybe a 150mm solo air pike at the front this thing would do it all it would really do it all um, yeah it's a step up from my bike which is a 150 front and back uh, yeah definitely impressive